Yeah, and this is how I A&R'd and produced uh, Indie Tribe's team um, by No Big Deal, John Keith, DJ Mike LV, and Mowgli. So it was 2021, uh, Indie Tribe had just dropped their uh, project, Upper Hand, it was going crazy. And I've always wanted to work with No Big Deal some more. Uh, our relationship goes pretty far back and I, I, it was pretty much getting close to the summer um, 21 playlist. And I was like, yo, we gotta get Indie Tribe on the summer 21 playlist. So I reached out to him and he was like, yo, send me, send me a pack of beats. Um, send me some beats that have a little bit like, you know, vibe, something that's kind of interesting and unique. So I went through my folders, went through some other producers' folders and um, was curating the pack. But it also hit me while I was in the barbershop a few days later, like, man, I had this idea for a sound for them. Something that's kind of like retro Neptunes inspired. and. I just kind of had the, the melody in my brain when I was getting my hair cut and the, the rhythm for the brass line just kind of came to me. And I was like, man, so I voiced Memo you know, real quick in the barber chair, uh, went home, laid down the beat, laid down the vibe, got the drums right. And then I um, brought in Juice Bangers to kind of help me bring some more elements to the drums to, to kind of take that Neptunes for real type vibe. I'm definitely a Timbaland and Neptune stand. And so he brought some modernization to the drums and kind of made it up to date. Got the beat done. Um, also, I laid like a part on the hook for Mowgli because I figured I wanted John Keith and uh, No Big Deal to rap on the on verse part, but then have Mowgli on the hook. So I laid down kind of like a super pivot of a vibe and just kind of added a guitar moment. So I put together the pack of beats in the folder. Um, and I also included the beats from the other producers too. So just to be fair, people think, yo, because you A&R, you produce everything. Nah, it's generally not like that, right? And so I sent the pack to No Big Deal. He hits, he hits me back. Yo, we really want to work with this beat and it happened to be the beat that i created um anyway so they cut the song um and um before they got to the hook and no big deal was like yo we need some um hook ideas for the uh for the hook part and um so set that in my session and i kind of voice noted like a little vibe for the hook for Mowgli to do like a little chant rock moment and so they send the full record back sounds crazy record was done um played it for the office everybody was loving it thought the record was super interesting but dope, it was like unique. It had a kind of a flavor to it. It wasn't like typical to what was going on, but still progressive and a, and a, and a nod to the, um, the 2000s era. So got the record done. And then they actually shot the video for the record at the Holy Smoke Fest at the basketball tournament, which we should have won, but we didn't win because it was Indie Tribe's Day. And yeah, that's how the, the record team came about.